Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm good. Um, so tonight my husband decided to present me with the mail, which is great because it's always nice to get mail. And I wanted to show you guys what came today in the mail. It was kind of a shock to me, but I'm sharing this. So I get this big, huge envelope, and it's addressed to me from my surgeon. What could the surgeon be sending me now? Didn't I already do enough paperwork? Don't know if you can see this. Let's see how thick this is. This is 44 pages. I counted them. On the paper is this little sticky note that says, Amanda, here's your insurance card. Because I forgot my insurance card all the way down in Seattle. I looked for it today when I tried to call to schedule my sleep study. Couldn't find it. I left it in Seattle. So they were nice enough to mail it to me. But it says, Amanda, here is your insurance card. And the rest of this is what I need for you to give to the lab when you go in to have your blood work done. Thank you so much, Regina. 44 pages? Are you kidding me? What is all this? So let's talk about this. The first piece of paper, I'm going to flash it real quick so that you can see there's like, there we go, a lot of typing on there. Says my name, my address, um, the name of the weight loss group, um, it's Swedish Weight Loss Services with Swedish Hospital in Seattle. Um, has my doctor's name and the nutritionist name, who is also my registered nurse practitioner. My home phone number, my social security number, my date of birth. Um, then it gives all my insurance information. And then it gives um, a bunch of medical coding codes, and I don't know how to do all that, so or you know what all that is. But anyway. Um, so on to the rest of the stack. Each piece of paper in my stack looks like this. Lots of writing, typing. At the very top it says lab order and it gives the hospital's name and address. And then it gives patient demographics. So it gives my name, my address, my age, lets you know that I'm a female. In case you can't tell with the, the name Amanda. Um, then it gives all of my insurance ID numbers and what they want this all billed as, I guess. Um, then it has the date and time that the order was written up um, when I went and saw my surgeon. Um, it has order provider, order detail, order information, specimen form, so it'll tell you blood or urine. Um, and it gives more insurance coding. And then it tells you which lab they want you to get. So like the very first one that they're looking for is my thyroid stimulating hormone. Okay, but what I don't understand, their printer must have, or the way they print these up must have been haywire. Because it says page one of two, but the second page has like my name on it. And then it has page one of two or two of two at the bottom. And then that's it. So really, they just sent me 11 extra pages of nothing. So okay, they want my thyroid tested. They want um, a comprehensive metabolic panel. They want calcium checked, ionized calcium, sorry. They want, sorry, my fingers are sticking. A PTT, which I have no idea what that is. They want a 3T3, whatever that is. They want a ferret, ferenitin, ferentin, I don't know. Then they want a lipoprotein panel with lipids, lipids. I'm sorry if you can hear my TV. Somebody decided to turn it up and then walk away. Um... Then they want a folate RBC, and they want a vitamin B1 whole blood. And that one says on there that they want it to be done by blood slash lav top. 
I'm a little worried about that. That doesn't sound good. Um, next one is zinc protopophorophin. And this one also says blood slash lav top. Um, then they want vitamin B12 serum. And this one says blood SST. Um, now they want a magnesium serum, and this one says straight blood. So I don't know if they're like they have to mix stuff with it, or if these are different methods of how they're taking it. They want a CBC with differentials. They want a pregnancy test, which makes me laugh because I've got other health issues. Um, I have PCOS. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. Um, and so yeah, me being pregnant, yeah. I can definitely say I'm not pregnant. Um, then they want a vitamin D serum lab, and this one says blood, straight blood. So I don't know why the codes are different, like I said. They want an iron. And they want hemoglobin A1C. They want a protein PT. Like the last two, or the pregnancy and the pro time, those are done by urine. Okay, well, they didn't tell me I was peeing in a cup, so I guess I'll be taking water with me that morning. <laughs> um, vitamin A. Vitamin B6 plasma. And the blood type it says on here is blood plasma. Lovely! And then this other one says urinalysis with culture if indicated. And then at the bottom it says yes indicated, yes urine. Okay. I'd hate for them to tell me I'm having a urine test and have them poke me with blood. And then the last one is called a hello, hello. Helicobacter, helicobacter, I don't know. Yeah, helo, helo, helicobacter, I don't know. Um, so there's 22 tests that they want me to have done. And now I've named them all off now, maybe you'll know what they're looking for if you have to go through the same company. But um, it kind of makes me wonder how many vials of blood they have to take just to, just to get all that done. I, I'm very... I don't like being poked with needles. Not that anybody should particularly go, yeah, needles, woo, poke me. But um, <laughs> I'm I'm a little nervous when it comes. I mean, even even the whole surgery idea. I'm I'm very squeamish. I'm I don't like to see my own blood. Um, when it comes to the kids at work having a bloody nose or something, it freaks me out a little, but I can deal with it. Um, when it comes to my own blood and seeing me bleed and seeing blood come out of me in any way, shape, or form, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, so, yeah, 44 pages, 22 actually, of labs that they want done. And I'm having that done October 21st. So I'm worried about what the difference is in the different types of blood. Am I going to have a railroad tie shoved up my arm and they can just cipher a gallon of blood out of me? I don't know. But I thought I would let you guys know that that's what they're looking for. So, um, Anyway, I will keep you guys posted on all the other fun stuff that comes my way. Oh, I mentioned I was trying to get my sleep study scheduled. I am having a hard time getting this stupid thing scheduled. I called my insurance company to make sure that sleep studies are even covered on my plan. They are. The dim bat that I was talking to couldn't even tell me who I should see. He was, like, trying to type it up, and he's like, I'm not showing any providers. I need you to give me doctor names, and I can tell you what the doctor name that they're provided. So I call the Swedish, I call my surgeon's office and I tell them, I don't know if the doctor you want me to see is even covered on 
my plan. And they said, well, if we're covered, they should be covered. And I said, well, can I branch out and go to the sleep study that's like right around the corner from my house? And they said, yeah, it's fine. Not a problem. Well, I called them. Okay. When I first called them, I was on my lunch break. Their office is closed from 12 to 1. My lunch break is 12.30 to 1.30. So I hurry up and I call that like 102, try to get a hold of them. I talk to the gal. She's like, oh, yeah, I can set up a sleep study with you. No problem. She takes my information down. She calls me back like two seconds later and says, I forgot. I need you to meet up with a pulmonary specialist first, and they will send in the order for your sleep study. And I went, what? I guess I didn't really understand the, the process. I thought I could just go in and get a sleep study done and be done with it. So she wants to give me a list of people. Um, my husband has sleep apnea. He's got a, a CPAP. So one of the doctors that she gave me the name to, I was like, oh, she, well, she gave me the name of the group. And I said, oh, is that doc, Dr. C's office? And she goes, yes. And I said, okay, well, my husband's already a patient of his. I might as well try to go through him. But yet my husband went through this doctor when we had a different insurance company through a different employer, which was years ago. So I don't even know if, like, currently if our health insurance covers this particular doctor. So I go to call the office, try to, you know, make sure that I can get set up, all that stuff. Their office is closed between 1 and 2, but they're open till 6. Lovely. So I... I gave up, I digress, and I, I'm supposed to be off work at 6, but um, the kids managed to go home early today, so I was off at 5.30. When I get in my car, haven't even left the parking lot, it's like not even 5.40, and I decided to call them to see if I could get set up with, you know, can they tell me, are they a contracted carrier, blah, 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 they're closed. So that is my, where I'm at with my sleep study. I'm getting the run around. I can't get people who are supposed to be at their office to answer their phone. Which is why I'm glad I have three months to try to get it done. Because it's probably going to take that long just to get somebody to return my phone calls. <sighs> so anyway, um, happy Thursday. And I will probably update you guys this weekend. I started my lovely new diet yesterday. I am very, I am very proud of myself. I did very good yesterday. I did really good today too. Um, so so far so good. And I'm hoping that maybe this weekend I'll go out and get a scale. And I plan to pick a day and weigh myself once a week and see if this diet is doing me any good because my old scale went on me. So anyway, I'm sorry if this is such a long post, but. If you don't like it, don't watch it. I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, have a good night, and I'll talk to you again this weekend. Bye.